So, in our formative years, we all develop a notion of who we want to be with. We build this ideal in our mind of, of stenciled out personality, characteristics, physical traits, hoping that someday we will meet somebody that matches that ideal in our mind. And not a lot of people know this, but five years ago on this very day, so the 18th of October, 2016, I was going to a very particular first date, and I'm sure with that ideal bouncing around in my mind somewhere. It's called, in off, often in speeches like this, the person of your dreams. Now, the issue that I have with the person of your dreams notion is there's no earthly way that I ever could have dreamt of somebody like Emily. She is 75 levels above me. Whilst I'm still struggling to get the basic things right, stand up, walk, breathe, chew, she's taught herself how to make etchings and stud a leather jacket. Whilst I'm still at the age of 34 figuring out what certain vegetables are, she's perfected how to paint them on glass. I'm talking about a whole world of things that she notices, uh, that she knows that I never would. The subtle beauties that she sees in the world with an imagination so vivid, it paints in colors that I don't even know the name of. In this world where love is an overused phrase and so often underperformed, Emily loves with her actions, or with her being. In a society that prioritizes pursuits of self-interest above all other things, Emily, when she was a little girl, so compassionate is she, that she became best mates with a lobster. In this concrete, dreary landscape that we find ourselves in, she's one of the few people that you actually want to hear about the dreams that she had the night before. And so, with all those things, how can I, in the right mind, stand and say that Emily is a person of my dreams? I could have never dreamt of Emily. Nobody ever could. She's something else entirely. And on this day, on the 18th of October 2016, I was swept up and she left. She left that weak impression of the perfect partner in absolute dust. And from that moment, we fell utterly and irreversibly in love. And I cannot wait to together build a future that neither of us could have imagined.